Mighty! Yeah, well, Dancing clear and unruly, drop the beat, me protect the man. Heal up the king, slow the beast, broke the hand, yes it, the wild fire burn. Yeah man, the whole London, the whole Brixton, you done with seven centre fire burn! Mighty! Don Sinclair and Unruly Cooley here in Kingston right now in Caveman Studio. Who do we have? None other than Pacenta. Welcome, Pacenta. Hi, thanks for having me. This is Pacenta. Right, Pacenta. Everyone must be wondering, like I am, what Pacenta means. Where did your name come from? Okay, first I must say thanks for having me. And my real name is Brighton the Center, Craig Wilkins. So it's a given name from birth. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, the first decided to use the center when I met up with Computer Paul from the boot camp. Right. You know, from the boot camp studio. So uh, what is this boot camp? Because uh, you mentioned it earlier. Yeah. Just let the people know. Boot camp is a studio. You know, boot camp run by Paul and Intern, they call him Computer Park. Right, right. Yeah. So I was an artist there okay. at the time, you know. And what age did you start? Ah, very young, you know. Mm -hmm. At a tender age. Yeah, know? yeah. Just as I left, while while in high school still. Okay. I was writing music around the music. Mm -hmm. uh, when I, was, I went to Stats. When, yeah. I, when I was at Stats, I really started writing the music. Right, right. Uh, my family had sound systems. Okay, you so know? they inspired you, so right? It, it was like in the blood from there. Sure, sure. But okay. I started with, with, with like the sound system uh, when I met up with, uh, I met up with Reggae Vibes, Marlon. Right. And I had a son named Little Fanny. Okay. You know, in the community. Uh -huh. you know, so we had a young group back then. Yeah. You know. About 17, 8, 17, 18. Oh wow. You know. 19. Three of us. It, we call it the cornerstone. I was the lead singer at the time. Okay. You know. Was you writing the music as well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, from there on we never stopped. But when I met up with Computer Paul, you know, he, I, I decided to go solo. Okay. You know, so yeah. I needed a name at the mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. So when you need a name, you already have a already name. You already have a name, so, yeah. Which was the center, so from there. Okay, nice. I, I had my first picture also, artist yeah. picture, you know. Okay. That's right. where it really started. All right. So, I guess when he was younger, he probably bought music. Was there a particular single or something that you bought in terms of music that you liked? Do you remember uh, what it was? Yeah, it, it, it wasn't me. Okay. Who, who bought me, yeah. but my bigger brother. I was going to say your older yeah, sibling, yeah? yeah? My bigger brother had, 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 had like a collection uh -huh. of music. Yeah. And he had a little boombox so where you put a one yeah. record on the top of it. Yeah. You know? And Pass it down to me. Okay. You know, along with some records. Yeah. Was there a particular record in that what he gave you that you played a lot? Yeah, them time the Ninja Ford. Yeah. They, they just him get his break and, and, and Cabra. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So it was like a, a great joy mm -hmm. just to listen to them flow. Yeah. You know? Okay. Um, so you born and grown up in Kingston, these parts, right? No, not Kingston. No? You know, born and grow in St. Andrew, the hills of St. Andrew. Right, a place right. called Salisbury Plain. Okay, okay. Yeah, close to Stony, close to Kingston. Kingston right. is like our city. Right. So, is that where you went to school? Mm -hmm. I started school there. Yeah. You know, all age school. I started basic school there and I went to all age, all age, all age, and then. From there on to Oberlin High, which mm -hmm. is also a neighboring community. Okay. In Lawrence Town. Yeah. And yeah. then from there on, I went to Stats in the city. Okay. You know, in Spanish Town. Right, yeah. yeah. I know Spanish Town. Who's your favorite artist? Oh, my favorite artist. I know there's lots out there. Right? Yeah, but my favorite artist, to be honest, in 
It's been a touch. Yeah. Yes, I love, music. love Bob Marley. Uh -huh. You know, just the same, but yeah. Peter Tosh is more like that, that, that hardcore side of the world. Yeah, yeah. Music for me. Sure. You know? Yeah. Okay. And so, with what you're doing now, are you playing out in places? Are you playing, performing anywhere? Uh, honestly, I would love to to tour. Yeah. You know, because I'm not getting much shows anymore. I'm not getting any shows at all anymore. Right. You know? Where would you like to tour? Where would you uh, like to go first? Europe, because I've been there before and the experience was great. Yeah. You know, I also would love to go to Africa. Yeah. Yeah. You know? The UK, for me, would be good too. You know, yeah. the Caribbean. You know, touring for me, you know, just worldwide. Yeah. You know, somewhere new too. Yeah. Would be good. So have you played that much here in Jamaica? Have you done anything here? Have you done Not much. Before? Not much, okay. In, last night I was at uh, JA Stars. Right. Not the King. About like every month on Tuesday. Sure. Yeah. Show that yeah. I have to keep there. You know? Yeah. Turbulence was there too. Uh, okay. Nature Ellis. You know? A lot of, a lot of lot artists. Of artists. There, you know? Yeah. And I had yeah. fun there. You know? That's nice. So what other genres of music do you like? Wow. I try to appreciate in music. Yeah. I, you know, I, I don't limit myself with yeah. music. Yeah. Is there anything yeah. particular, anything else that other than reggae or culture music that you're listening to? Is there anything else that you like to listen to? Anything you think of? Ah, uh, just, just the rhythm. The rhythm, yeah, yeah. You know, I yeah. not about I'm always excited to hear the next beat. Yeah, yeah. So when you're writing, what inspires you? Uh, and what, what do you write about? Are you, uh, are you going me, away somewhere writing? Or? For, for me, for me, I, I can be anywhere. You know? Yeah. You know, I always say my office can be anywhere. So it's like I'm pretty ready. Yeah. You know, and then if I'm even ready, like decide where I'm gonna be and where I'm gonna go, yeah. you know, to start writing it even better. Mm -hmm. But for me, a quiet place is always nice. Or sometimes in my room when it's a late, yeah. when it's a late, like in the tree, mm -hmm. three o'clock, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's when I'm more uh, out in the field. Sure. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Out deep in the field, like I sometimes I farm, mm -hmm. you know, I farm. Yeah. Nice. Farm with my what are yeah. you growing? I have to be nosy and find ah, out. <laughs> plant, banana, yam. Lovely. You know, peppers. Nice, nice. Kale. And do you sing to your plants as you're planting? And they say it helps them grow. <laughs> yeah. Well, you sing around them. You know, <laughs> you sing around them so we can appreciate the song. Yeah, okay. So say you had the power to change anything in the music industry, what kind of things would you change? I would change the, the mindset of gatekeeping, you know, because music, music has no colour. No. You know? No, it doesn't. For me it has no colour. Today, today you can just hear something that does change your life through music, you know, because mm -hmm. You know, sound, sound, word sound, you know, is power. And music, for me, I would change, for me, mainly I would change like most of the, the leaders who, who run the industry. Yeah, at you the know? top there. Yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. I would change the way how a lot of artists get paid or being paid yeah. in, in the music. Arts. You know, it's not done fear for me, you know? Yeah. I don't see in no way fear on our side. Okay. You know? And yeah. For me, that would have to change. Yeah. Like, right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, what have you been listening to lately? Oh. I've mostly been listening to two of my new tracks. I have two releases. Oh no. Okay. One 
one one called Demram. Okay. You know, it's more about the, the politicians who don't really stand stand, right. up, yeah. stand stand up to them responsibility. To, to you can give us a little one, a little piece of that if you want. Yeah. You know, my country, them say plastic for ban. How so much scandal they pan the land. Tell them, them wrong. They went to rob the money down. I bet your jam and me not see nobody lock up our hand. Then them went again and rob up education. My leave the thing free around the nation. Tell them, them. They went to. Listen, man. Yeah. Them wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them wrong, them wrong, them wrong. Yeah. Them wrong. yeah. Tell them, them wrong. Them wrong, them wrong, them wrong. Yeah, it's time to campaign for a brand of champagne, a cap, and a t shirt you bring. And the podium make you buy promise on a green, and when the budget people can't buy your thing. Then Mr. Mambi would have loved to know how fearful Bill Allo reach 80 million. You know, say your cabinet have road, and an insect, and you know, make no insect to type plant. Tell them, them wrong. Nice, nice, yeah. nice, yes. It's like a fire burning on. Mm -hmm. The leaders who don't take responsibility yeah. for the actions. You know? Yeah. And also have a song out. More a love type, mm -hmm. you know, for the ladies. Yeah. In our, not just for the ladies, you know, you take two. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. The man and the woman, you know. Okay. So nice. It's more a song of togetherness. Yeah. I can't, it's called Wildfire. Wildfire. And mm -hmm. them rang a video is out now. Okay. Or, you know, you can check it out at Best Center yeah. Official on the YouTube channel. Yeah. And Wildfire mm -hmm. is a brand new single out right. from UTH Music right now for the ladies. Okay. Wildfire. Even when the rain is pouring, forever love still burning. Turning, forever love still burning. Nice, nice. Did you write that for somebody? <laughs> ah. What inspired you to write that? I mean, did you write for someone or? Ah, wildfire. I'm on writing for someone. You right. Does that person know? Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. That's yeah, nice. I appreciate it. Good, good. So, if you could sing um, or do a track or a song with any artist um, living and already gone, um, who would you like? like? Who would you think and I'd love to do a track with that person? Whoa. I know, it's a big question, right? And there's probably yeah, it's so many names going no, through your head right now. It's not so many names, you know, I just don't want to call the wrong name. Oh, <laughs> but it, it's the uh, I think it's Julian Marley. Oh, okay. yeah, the one who just won the Grammy from from a longer time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there's a something. Yeah, yeah. About mm. how, him, how, how, how he put him thing together. You know, yeah. different. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Him just have one different accent. From okay. The, from the yeah the regular Marley. All right. And it always have a little standout thing. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. or, or the rapper. Yeah, okay. So, what's your visions and where do you see yourself um, going for the rest of this year and going forward? Okay, for this year, I'm, I'm trying my best, you know, to do more than I did last year. Yeah. You know, I don't think I did enough myself mm -hmm. last year, you know. Last year was more like, ah, I've been doing this for a while, I really need time off myself. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. so yeah. take time to shape self, mm -hmm. you know, work on, on me, work on the craft, you know. Yeah. Other than I got a real game and, you know, I, w I went and worked on myself, work yeah. on the craft. You know, so hopefully this year, you know, yeah. I'm planning to be better. So yeah. you can look out, I can be anywhere, you know. Yeah. Right now I can be anywhere, you know, because I'm like ready to explore. First yeah. night was great. Watch yeah. out, people. Watch your space, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> yeah first night was great. But as I said before, I'm not booked yeah. for, for any upcoming show. Mm -hmm. Ah, 
I should have said that, you know, you know, from last year I've been booked for a show in June. Okay. It's Stone Love for you and then uh, Yazi uh -huh. from a community. Yeah. You know. Okay. Supposed to be in Manning, so, right, you know, right. Close to my community. Yeah. In, in my community, you know, yeah, yeah. neighboring community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so. How do you feel about performing live? Do you ever get nervous or anything like that, you know, get any cold feet, as right. we say I in mean, the UK? Honestly, you know, honestly, for me, there was a time when when they buck up all the big guns, you yeah, know, everybody yeah. out and, you know, uh -huh. they try not to feel how you. Yeah. But then, it's like there's a line towards the stage, or there's a time when the MC Mm -hmm. So ready? Yeah, yeah. You know, it just oof, and yeah. just leave. But for me, I'm always excited to to work. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Whereas if it's true rehearsal and then yeah. show, you know, I'm always like ready. Passionate and ready. Yeah, man. I think yeah, about, yeah. I'll be thinking about it like the whole week. <laughs> you know, up until yeah. show time. That's nice. You know, for That's me. Nice. That's yeah, nice. man. So, just to wrap up with this last question. Is there any um, advice you'll give to any other up-and-coming artists, young people that might be looking to come into the music industry as an artist? Any kind of advice that you would give them? My, my humble advice to a young artist, you know, who would love to join this music business, uh, you know, the looks of the business, don't take it from the looks, mm -hmm. you know, try to learn it. Yeah. From scratch. You know? Yeah. You know, try to protect yourself, protect your rights, you know, from the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. yeah. That's my humble advice. Yeah. You know, just try to learn as much as I can about the business. Yeah, along with along with it? along with, you know, mm -hmm. working on the craft. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You have to work on the craft. Alright. Yeah, career is important. It matters not if it's for a show or not. If it's mm -hmm. by yourself, you know, if you're you know, in your CFA, you know, always yeah. work on the craft. Okay. Um, and finally, um, what are your words for myself, I'm really cool, and Don Sinclair and the team for the works that we're doing? Whoa. I, I myself, Really and truly give thanks because it's my first time meeting you. Yeah. You guys, you know? It's been a real pleasure. And it's been a pleasure. Yeah. It's not very often people just see someone they don't know and just do something for them. So for me, it's like a big thing because for a long while, yeah. nothing like this other than like my video shoot. Yeah. My video shoot for them round, mm -hmm. you know, really surprised me. You know, because it, it took like one week. Okay. You know, and then edit and ready by the, you know by the end of the week, okay. and it was right. great for me. But for you people, you know, then Sinclair and I don't catch your name proper, but believe me, unruly coolie, unruly coolie. This for me is like a gift. You know, it's not a birthday. You know, it's not that, that Christmas day, it's not that Valentine's day where people treasure it's just one of these days. Right? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a big up JNR, yeah. you know, as I him really invited to his interview. Nice. Yes. And now I'm here, you know, talking to the world. God he knows who mm -hmm. might feel inspired yeah. from this, you know, hopefully change somebody's life, you know, in a simple way, you know, because it's not one of the big things, you know. So I really do yeah. give thanks. Yeah. Believe me. Yeah. I really right. give thanks. And okay. To be okay. continued. Yeah. So we look forward to seeing what you do for the rest of the year. Of course, we'll be following, and no doubt our subscribers will as well. So thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you. We appreciate you sharing I'm with us. Cool. You know, yeah. appreciate that. Um, so from myself, I'm Ruli Cooley and Donson Clit and the rest of the team. We're out of here. Kingston Caveman Studio with one and only the center, the center. mighty foot, hopeful and powerful. Give thanks and praise to see a brand new day. 
Give thanks and praises to the Most High. Mighty Father, always give thanks.